Rebuilding a model steam plant, part 18. Fitting the cylinder cladding to the Stuart S50 steam engine. There is a specific technique to use when doing this job, which makes it easier. Once the cladding was fixed to the engine, I mounted it in place on the baseboard. The cladding is held to the cylinder using four round head brass slotted machine screws. The thread in the cylinder for one of these machine screws was stripped, so I re-threaded them all 7BA. I thought I'd mention that, just so no one gets confused. The bolts that finally fit the cladding to the cylinder were slightly larger than these. As per usual, it was the last bolt that I removed when I noticed the problem with the thread in the hole. I didn't show the re-threading process as it was a simple job using a 7BA tap in each of the four holes. What's interesting about this job is the hole positions in the cylinder are in exactly the right place as specified on the drawing. In fact, I removed the cladding from this engine to use on another one. That's why I know they were the same. Right, down to actually doing the job. The first thing is to fit the cladding as I'm showing here. I'm making sure that the first two machine screws are tight to hold the cladding securely to the flat part of the cylinder. This cladding is aluminium and it's very weak. It's most important not to put any pressure in the centre area of the cladding. In this clip I'm checking that the cladding fits between the cylinder covers. Here's a technique that I've used many times. Once I've bent the cladding around the cylinder, I slacken off the bolts holding the cladding to the flat part of the cylinder. Once again I'm double checking that the cladding does fit between the cylinder covers, and it does. Now it's time to fit the two machine screws at the front of the cylinder. Because the top two bolts are loose, there's a little bit of movement on the cladding, which makes it easier to locate the bolts on the front part. You will notice that all of the holes in the cladding are round in their original positions. I didn't have to file any of them. And now, this is a shot of the old piece of cladding. As you can see, it's quite marked and bent. And here's the new bit. Once I re-tighten all of the bolts, it will sit perfectly on the cylinder. This is quite a difficult job, and it's a bit nerve-wracking to do. And if I had made a mess of it, I would have had to have phoned Stuart Models and ordered another piece of cladding. This cladding, by the way, is the old steel stuff, which I think is probably better. The purpose of cladding is normally to cover heat insulation, but on such a small engine, that's a bit of a waste of time. Now it's time to fit the S50 to the baseboard. First of all, I fit the cast resin mounting. These are really good. I don't think I've ever seen them as commercial items, but then again, this engine is from the USA, so I wouldn't have done. The whole assembly looks great once the engine's in position. All I need to do now is screw the engine down to the baseboard using these very long and very sharp screws. They're just the right length and they go through the engine and the cast base and the baseboard and do not stick out underneath. I'm making sure that I have the right type of screwdriver for this job and this extra long one is perfect. I've had it for many years. I used to use it when I was a computer engineer and I'd never part with it. I do have long extensions to fit in my electric screwdriver, but I do prefer to use the manual method for this job. A Stuart S50 has two mounting lugs at one end and only one mounting lug at the other end. As this wasn't the engine originally fitted to this steam plant, I did have to drill out the mounting lugs because they were a bit small and the screws were a very tight fit in the hole. Now the engine is looking resplendent, fitted to the baseboard, it's time for a compressed air test. The engine runs very well and sounds good, despite being on yet another soundboard on top of my workbench soundboard. Any mechanical noise is amplified. The next part of the job is to fit cladding to the 10V. This is a slightly different process. Owing to the two holes for the drain cocks in the centre, it makes bending the cladding around the cylinder very difficult. In this clip it looks like the piece of cladding is too wide, but it isn't. The top cylinder cover is just metal to metal contact and doesn't have a gasket in between. When I fit the gasket, then the cladding will fit perfectly between the two cylinder covers. I'll cover this in the next episode. For now, that's it from me. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists.
and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.